Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. All right. Thanks so much. Okay. I can see you, Courtney. <laughs> so, stop it, okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I see Keisha as well. Hello, Mastery. Hello. Hello. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Nora. Hello, every hello everybody. Now, you don't have to have your video on. It's not required. It's just a... Oh, can I just quickly say, so I'm having a bug guy coming in in like 30 minutes. Is that going to be okay? It's fine. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Is he going to be talking on, on, the video, on, the, on Zoom? Mm. No? Is he going to be talking? No. 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 It won't no. matter then. You'll be good. Okay. You'll be fine. Let me see. I don't think. There we go. It's so nice to see your face. Oh, it wasn't, was it? Because I was. Uh, there we go. Now we're like in business. I've been ages. <laughs> I think I've aged about twenty years, actually. All right. Let's see, what have we got? 12.27. All right, so we'll start, we'll start at 12.30. I'm going to share my screen here. Oh, hopefully that'll be right. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, it's good to see all your smiling faces. It's nice. Hello. Hello. Who's saying hello? Didn't pop up. me. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> I must apologize. The lighting in here is awful. It's, it's overhead. So I look like I'm sinister or something in shadow. You all look like you're much, much better lit. I might get a lamp or something. Yeah, I currently have a lamp sitting on the desk, like mm. pointing towards the wall. So it's backlight mm. that's fitting. So that's how I have mine. My lighting's absolutely terrible. That's why I'm not on video. That, that's, <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't be if I didn't feel like I had to be. All right, folks, it's 12.30. We're going to get started. Yay. Thanks for all, thanks all of you for coming today. I really appreciate it. I know it's, uh, I know it's a bit, a bit of a trial, this thing, but, uh, but it's, uh, it's, if you could just, if you're going to, if you know you're going to have some noisy background or anything, just go ahead and, and mute, mute yourself. But 
you can always unmute if you want to ask a question. All right, I'm, I'm more than happy to, to answer any questions as we go here. All right, we're going to start off here with the syllabus. At, so I, I'm getting some, I'm getting a bit of an echo here. So somebody needs to mute. And we know that this is a live online class, which means it's going to be treated pretty much like a regular class. I'm going to be here every, or pretty much most, um, most days, Monday, Wednesday, 12.30. And we're going to be talking about the course material, pretty much just like I would be in a regular classroom. There are going to be a couple of tweaks to that, so a, little, a little bit of variation. So the, the way this is working, uh, I've got, um, you've got my information here. I'm Dr. Musgrave, of course. Uh, I've got my cell phone here. You can call that anytime I have office hours and my office hours are under the office hours link. I have checked it, I know it works. There he is. All right, so there's my office hours there. If you, you can call me anytime on that cell phone number during, during those times. Uh, if it's outside those times, maybe I'll answer, maybe I won't, but I, I will get back to you one way or another. If not by phone, then by email. All right, but definitely during these times, and if I'm talking to somebody else, just leave a message. All right. Okay. Okay. So as far as attendance goes, attendance is not mandatory, except for, well, you need to attend at least once during the first four class periods to get the first two weeks out the way, just once though. And you do need to be in attendance on test days. That means you, by attendance, I mean you need to be on Zoom in front of me on test days, because that's when I will be sending you the test and when you'll be doing it on Zoom and then sending it back to me. I'll talk more about that in a, in a little bit as far as uh, testing goes and exactly what I'm going to require for that. So, well, I guess from now, yeah. So what, what I want to do is uh, talk to you a little bit about testing and also authentication. Uh, some of you I know, but some of you I don't know. And the, the way that I've got this set up is actually a little bit ripe for abuse because there would be the possibility that somebody could get a test, they could send it on to somebody else and then have them do it, send the file back and then have you upload it. That could, that could happen. I can't. I can't deny that. So in order to give myself a little bit of security, I'm going to ask a favor of you, and that is to take a picture of yourself with your ID. And I'm also going to ask you to handwrite, handwrite an exemplar. That means I'm going to tell you what I want you to write. And you're going to write it down on that sheet of paper and you're going to hold it up along with your ID next to your face. And that way I'll know exactly who you are. And then if somebody happens to send me something that isn't in your handwriting, I'll have a record of it. So that's the, that's the whole point of this. If you do this for the class and you're also in my lab, you won't have to do this for the lab as well. Okay. So what I would, what, what I would like you to do is write out the first couple of lines to the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, right? That first question, that very first question in the Star Spangled Banner. So I'd like you to handwrite that, please, on a sheet of paper. I know it seems overkill, doesn't it? But, you know, this is, this is what I need to do, unfortunately. Could you repeat what you write? I, I oh, sure, sure. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 
what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but something like it will be fine. I'll say, I'll, I'll repeat it if you need me to. I only chose that because I thought most people would know it, but I understand if some people don't. I'll, I'll say it again. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Do we need to be getting our ID right now? You can, you can, you can do it now. That's fine. So what I, what I want you to do is take a picture of yourself using your, using your cell phone and that exemplar and your picture ID, right? All, you know, you can, you can figure out a way to hold it up next to your face along with the, along with the page. And um, uh, do you want us to um, um, sort of like take a selfie of the um, um, exemplar, our ID and our photo and just email it to you that way? Oh, no, no, there's a, there's a Dropbox here. It's called opening day Dropbox. I'm going to oh, want you to put okay. it in there. Okay. Do you see it? It's on the, it's on the table of contents, opening day Dropbox. That's where you're going to upload it. As I said, if you're in my lab class, you won't have to do this twice. So you want all three of us in the same picture? Like, uh, like the, the my bad, uh, myself, the ID and the handwriting? That's correct. Yep. Okay. Next to your face. That's right. So I, the idea would be you, you take the selfie with one hand and in the other hand, you can hold the, the ID and the, and the pay, paper. Maybe you put your thumb sort of over it. You can sort of figure out how to, how to hold it all up and, and do it all at the same time. I know it's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a trial here. <laughs> do you want us to, um, uh, to, to um, sign our name across the um, exemplar or just, uh, or just our ID? I think you just 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 write it. If you want to sign, well, actually, yeah. Why don't you sign your name as well? That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sign your name as well. I had meant to say that. Um, hello. Can we do this after the meeting? Can we do it after? No, I'd like to do. I'd I'd like you to do it now, please, because I I don't want anybody to. Now I really would like you to do it now. Okay. It's submitted mine already. Is the signature necessary? No, it's fine. If you've already submitted it, that's fine. Like I had meant to say it, but it's okay. So yeah, I'll I'll get this. It's not for a grade or anything. It's for my records. Yeah, and I really would like you to do it now, please. Um, okay, so just um, I'm I'm a bit rusty at this. It's been a while since I've had to use a Dropbox. We ju we can just um, if we take a selfie, we can just email it to ourselves and then load it up that way, like download it and then load yeah. it up that way. That that would be that would be fine. You could do that. Sometimes some phones have like a photo sharing app or something that would allow you to share it directly to your computer. I, I'm not sure. I mean, there there people do it all sorts of different ways, Philip. Okay. It's yeah, you can email it to yourself, oh, but if you don't want to use that option, there's also a website called Mediafire. It's totally free to use. You can upload files to it and then download it, download it from anywhere. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've had to do this. Dr. Musgrave, if it's yes. done correctly or incorrectly, will you let us know? Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. But I'll look after the meeting. I won't look now.
But um, uh, if we do have trouble um uh, emailing emailing it to you via the uh, Dropbox, could we just um text the um uh, image to you to your phone? I'd really prefer you didn't because I really want a record of it all in one place. So I mean, okay. if you can, sure, you know, the thing is, if you can email, you can definitely put it in the Dropbox. <laughs> Either way, you know. But I mean, what I'm saying is, I don't. I really want you to put it in Dropbox. But what I'm saying is that emailing or putting in the Dropbox shouldn't be a difference to you as far as ability goes, right? You should be able to do either. Okay. It's pretty easy. Some people have already done it. That's good. Can you tell us how to find the Dropbox again? I'm sorry. Okay, sure, sure. It's, uh, it's, on the, it's in the opening day Dropbox. It's in the table of contents. It's the third item down. Okay, wait a second. Course contents. Yeah. Yeah, course content, and then table of contents. It's the third item down, opening day Dropbox. Just click on that, and this this should open up for you. So I should be able to. Okay, um, I just did mine, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm off that. Okay, good. Okay. Is it okay is it, if it's as a JPEG? Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Any any uh, picture file type should work. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry about this, folks. I wouldn't do this obviously if it was a regular classroom, but because of the nature of the the kind of class we're dealing with, and the fact that I am going to want you on on Zoom actually doing your tests, then uh, this is this is how it's going to have to be, unfortunately doesn't want to do it. I think Hugo has a question for you in chat. Oh, I say, let me see. You know what, this is, this is something that I, uh, I struggle with here. I keep on forgetting about chat. Now I've got to see, here we are, his chat. Oh, all right, there we go. Oh, thank you, Ryan, I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, I don't have access to pen and paper right now because I'm currently at home. My boyfriend had car trouble and I had to, oh, oh sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, Hugo. Now, I understand, folks, I, I also have access to your picture through registration. So I can double check who you are. So, Hugo, that's what, I'll, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. What kind of file type does it need to be? Because it keeps telling me it's invalid. Well, JPEG should be fine. It's JPEG. I did JPEG and mine was fine. I have a brand new computer, so it's entirely possible that's what it is, but. It, it should be okay. I mean, it should JPEG, PNG, PDF, Word, yeah. any of those, any of those will work. Yeah, you can try putting it on a Word document and then submitting the Word document to him. Yeah, that would work as well. But Julie, if you want, just just leave it be, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it after class, okay? So anybody who's having trouble, we'll we'll uh, we'll handle it after the after the session, okay? But we'll move on from for now. Is everybody is everybody satisfied with what they're doing here? Okay, thank you. All right, I'll, I'll have to let me move this back up over here. All right. Uh, is everybody okay to move on? If anybody's not, now's the time to say something. All right. We're not gonna take the whole class period today. And, and all we're going to do is just go through the syllabus and talk about the, talk about the class. And uh, we'll start all our, all our stuff on, on Wednesday, the new material and everything else. All right, so I've done the, I've done the testing authentication. No, so the idea will be on test days is that you will turn up on Zoom, you'll need your camera on, so your camera will need to be working. I'll need to be able to see you. You'll also need a hand mirror. And the hand mirror is so that I can ask anybody to show what in their immediate area, because you know, there is going to be some stuff out of the, realm of the camera, like uh, your computer screen, for example. Chances are your webcam's on top of your computer screen. 
and that way it's not even accessible to the camera. So a hand mirror would allow me to see that. So I want you to have at least at least have a hand mirror available, please. This is just on test days. Jonathan, do you have a question? Um, yeah, would a camera that you could pick up and move around to show you everything work? Yes, that would be fine. Either, yeah, that's, but most, the reality is most people have a, an immovable webcam. It's usually part of their laptop or something else. Okay, but yeah, so um, if, it's, uh, if it's movable, it's fine. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so just wanted something I wanted to follow up. I'm, I'm using a Chromebook, so the webcam is already attached to my computer, so okay. I can just do to do the whole 360 spin using my computer. So as far as the mirror goes, just take a whole spin out of my room and I'll be fine then. No, I just want you to have the mirror available. Remember, I'll be seeing this live, right? Uh, okay, so um, you, you, like, like, as far as the mirror goes, where he wants to put it? Like, you don't have to put it anywhere. It's just if I request you use it, I just want you to have it available to use. Uh, um, okay, all right. I may, I, may, I, may, I may or may not ask you to use it. Okay. So, sir, sir, question. Yes. When we are taking the test, all of us are going to be in a Zoom like uh, session together in, in a sense, taking it at the same time as what you're getting at? Yes, that's correct. Okay, cool. That's all, all right. I wanted to verify. All right. And it will be during class time. Okay. And, it, and it will be at a set time on a set day. You'll know exactly when it is. So you can make arrangements to make sure that you can be here during that time. Yeah. So uh, just like we are right now then? Yep. Just like we are right now. All right, this is going to be interesting. It is, it is. But you know, the thing is that with the the way organic chemistry is, it requires a lot of drawing, and I don't feel I don't feel confident. I don't like the I don't like the drawing programs on computers because that's too much to learn. I'd much rather have give you the opportunity just to do it with pen and paper, and then be able to upload it to me it's really going to be no different from taking a regular pen and paper test when it comes down to it for you, as far as the experience goes. Okay. Another, I can promise you that. Another question. Yes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, would it be recommended that we get like one of those like hexagonal graph notebooks to like help us like learn how to draw these correctly? No, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, okay. Nope. Oh, um, uh, professor, um, um, I was looking through the, um, um I was looking through the, um, uh, class when, when it was finally um, loaded doing quizzes and everything and I didn't see any practice tests. It just, it, it just goes straight to the uh, sample test. Oh, th th those are the, those are the sample. Yes. I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit, Philip. Okay. okay. Give me, give me a second. I'll get there. So the, the idea will be that on test days, prior to the test, maybe about five minutes, I'll, I'll send you an email. That email will contain the test. You will print that out. You will do it in front of Zoom. Then you will upload, uplo upload the, sorry, you'll take pictures of it, probably using your cell phone while you're on Zoom. And then you will upload the file to the Dropbox. So is everybody clear about how it's going to be, the test? So, um, you're going to, wait, oh, so you're going to send us a PDF copy a few minutes before the test begins then, right? Yeah, probably a Word, actually probably be Word, a Word copy. Okay. Right, and you'll print it out. All right. And, um, and, 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 and is our time limit just like the length of class or if we don't get the email in time, will we be given more time? Well, no, you'll get the email. I, I guarantee you'll get the email straight away. So. Okay. So you should be fine with that. Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you an hour and a half, 90 minutes to, to get the test done and get it uploaded. Okay, all right. You said you'll send the email a few minutes before the test and we have to print it out? Yes, that's correct. What if we don't have a printer at home? Okay, well, what I would do then, and that's, this is where the mirror comes into play, is then you can, you can do it off the screen on a, sheet, on a separate sheet of paper. Okay. And then, but you, you'll be able to show me there's nothing else on your screen aside from the test, okay? But okay. I, I, would ra I would much rather, I would much rather print it, have you print it out. It'll be easier for you if you can. So if you don't have a printer, it might not be a bad idea to get one. I think it's a good idea to, for everybody to have a printer. Now I'll only allow this upon request, you know, and it's, it's only if 
you know, people absolutely tell me, well, look, I can't get a printer. And I'll say, oh, all right. But then there'll be other things that I'll ask you to do. So okay, who, was, can I who, who was that who was asking me? I'm sorry, I can't um, see. Nora. Oh, okay, Nora. Yeah. Right. So I'll look into it and I'll come back to you. Sorry. Okay, fair enough. That's okay. All right. And anybody else doesn't have a printer? Okay. I have access to a printer at work, but not at my home. I always well, I'm going to disappoint you, Dr. Musgrave. I don't have a printer either. No. All right. Well, then th those people who don't have a printer will email me, right? And we'll yes. and then I'll know I'll know who's 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 using who's using the printer and who isn't. Okay. All right. Email you before the class or just email you after class, but in general. Just just email me at some point. Okay, just email um, me at some point. Let me know. Let me know if you don't have a printer. Um, th um, the only thing that I would ask about the um, um, uh, test being sent out is if, the, if maybe it could be sent on maybe like eight to ten minutes early instead of five minutes, because my house is pretty hectic with my sisters taking classes and then, then my mom printing stuff. So, like, like my biggest fear is like I got a five minute window she's on the house line and I have to print and I'm like, okay, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Well, in that case, Philip, I, since you know when that five minute window will be, then you put the hard mm -hmm. word on everybody else and say, I need access to the printer okay. during this five minute window. And then you, you harass them until they agree. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You make know. Sure the go on. has the paper as well, and make sure everything works already prior there you to go. the test. Because usually yeah. people think that everything works, and mine never does. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, she, yeah. There's always there's always some people who have technical issues, and like I said, the last the last ditch thing is to be able to read read it off the screen and then do it on a separate sheet of paper. Okay, I'd, I'd write much rather than not though, because it's much easier for me to grade. If it's um, if it's not all separate bits of paper, it's kind of annoying actually. But you know, I understand. I understand that sometimes people don't have printers. I also understand that sometimes people have technical difficulties. Now, remember, you will have to be on Zoom, right? You you won't be able to just have um, you won't be able to turn your video off. So you've got to your, your video has to be working on test days. And if it's not working now, get it working. All right. Does anybody have any other and questions? The, um, uh, Go on. Um, and the um, uh, mic too, as well. Yeah. So yeah, you should fix so that I can talk to you and I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the mic not so much. I mean, you can always get get to me through chat if need be. Let me see. I'm, I need to make sure that nothing's going on in chat as well. Yeah. Look, I'm a bit new to this as well. Uh, let's see, chat. Here we go, chat. All right. Okay. It looks like everything's okay in chat. All right. No, I don't want to do that. I want to minimize it. Try that. I can't minimize. All right. Well, I'm recording. Sorry, I just need to figure out how to get back to where I was here. There we go. And now I want to share the screen again. All right. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions about testing? All right. So as far as the, the grading goes, so the tests will be, will make up your grade. Now the tests are going to be the same kind of tests as everybody else has been taking in the past. I'll show you what those look like in a bit. So there's four tests worth 20% each, final worth 20%. Final may replace one lower test grade. So if you can't be here on a certain day uh, for the test, then that's what you can do. You can always use the exam, the final exam to replace that test. 
if you get more than 90% on all four tests, that's more than 90%, not an average, then you can exempt the final with an A. If you get more than 80% on all four tests, you can exempt the final with the B. Otherwise, you'll need to take the final. And if you do take the final, then the average of all five tests will give you your grade. Does anybody have any questions about that? All right, I do have some scenarios here. We've got uh, this one here, Hugo first. You can all see my screen, right? Yes? Yes. Good. Uh, he, he got more than 90% on all four tests, so he gets an A. Teresa Green, she got an 86 on the second test, so she gets a B, but she didn't take the final. So you notice she has an average of 90, but she didn't get 90 on every test. If you, in my mind, if you're going to be able to exempt the final, you need to have gotten A's on every test. Generally, about one third of the class is successful doing that. So it's, uh, it's not easy, but it's certainly doable, right? Certainly doable. If you look at John Q here, he didn't do so well on the second test. The 89 replaced the 63. When all five of those scores got averaged, he ended up with an A. Betty Boop, she had some 80s. She ended up with a B, she didn't take the final. And here, Frank Frog, he really should have taken the final because he ended up with the D, because he had a 70 here. And you know, just when, he, when all the were all said and done, he didn't take the final. So he uh, ended up getting a zero for it. So he ended up getting a D. So if you, as, long as, you, as long as you get more than 80%, you don't have to take the final. Does anybody have any questions, especially about the grading? Uh, yeah, Professor. Yeah. So if we get... Um, hypothetically, we get Bs on all four tests, right? We have the option to either take the final to potentially raise or potentially lower our grade. Oh, not lower. No, 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 no. Well, if you, if you took the final, you could end up with no lower than a B. Okay. So it won't hurt us. No, then. It, it can't hurt. No. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Thank you. No, because it would be just like not coming in and taking it at all. Right. It'd be the same deal. Right. So, so you shouldn't be penalized for taking it. <laughs> so um, back to what he was saying, if we have all Bs on all of our tests and we take the final, then you'll average them. Mm -hmm. But if we don't take the final, it's just going to be a B. Sure will. They won't be averaged. Nope. Gotcha. Okay. No, because the final is part of the grade. It's just a little dispensation, something that makes life a little bit easier for people if they don't really want to take the final. They can take a B or they can take an A if they have the right scores. Gotcha. All right. Any other any other questions about the grading? Um yeah. So we're only our um um the grading system is only based on tests. There are no homeworks in the class or will there be any homework? Uh, there's no homework, but there is some opportunity for extra credit, which I haven't shown you yet. Okay, uh, no, I'll get to that in a second. But no, the the actual credit grades come from the from the test. Oh, and well, I should say there's also for test three and four. There's two quizzes that make up five percent of the grade. So I suppose technically, I suppose the answer to your question is yes. Then. Uh, but there, but there are only two quizzes that make up five percent of two tests. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's uh, so that's what I was getting to next was the my courses quizzes. So there are two te two two questions. Sorry, two quizzes that make up five percent of uh, test three and four. The rest of the quizzes are all extra credit. Every every last one of those is extra credit, and those are more associated with tests one and two. There are opportunities for extra credit on tests three and four, but they're not through, but they're not through quizzes. It's through the actual tests and things you'll put, do on the actual tests. 
Um, so I was browsing through your my courses earlier, and mm -hmm. I noticed that there's an unlimited time, uh, unlimited amount of attempts on the extra credit quizzes. Is that going to change, or is it going to stay like that? Well, there is. It's just that see, I'll, I'll have to show you how this works because who was asking me that? I, I I don't know why I can't see who's asking these questions. Usually it pops it's up. Sierra. Sierra. Okay. Sierra. Um. The way it works, I'm going to go in as a, well, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll go in as myself here. All right, let's have a look. So in, intermolecular forces, for example, in that folder, there's a practice quiz. Yeah, that has unlimited attempts. But you need to get 80% to open up the credit quiz. That you only get two attempts at that. But you get as many points, you get, as, you get whatever you get on it you, after two attempts, the, the highest attempt. And then that's out of however many points it is. Okay, I got you. All right, but you have to do the practice quiz to open the credit quiz. Got but it. You, but you get unlimited attempts to do that. The credit quiz is a lot like a practice quiz. Mm -hmm. I mean, identical in formatting, different questions, of course, but different formatting. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Ryan has a question in the chat. Oh, okay. Thank you. You know, I, one of these days I'll get this sorted out. All right, let's see. Chat. Let's have a look at the chat. I'll leave this. I'll try and leave this open. Here we go. Dr. Musgrave, to get good at the problems, do you recommend doing problems out of the textbook? No, Ryan. <laughs> the bottom line. <laughs> not really. It's not that. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's that helpful. There are many more. There are. It's not useless, but it's there are many more helpful things that one can do to be successful in this class than doing questions out of the textbook. But I tell you what, if you've got the time, have at it. That's what I would say. All right, I'm going to leave this open over here. And that way I won't lose anybody in chat. That's going to be the smartest play, I think. All right. Does anybody have any other questions about the quizzes here? All right, let me say something about grades. I'm going to, and, and viewing the grades, I'm going to go in as a student here. So I'm going to go back to that quiz, just so you can see, but in the quiz folder itself, you'll notice that there's, you only see the practice quiz. But when you get 80% and you go back in, the credit quiz will magically appear. So that's how it will work. So let me show you how you'll know what you need to do. Go to the grade section here and you'll see you've got the tests and these are the test grades. You'll notice test three and four are out of 95 because there's two quizzes that go with naming to make up the 100 on those. And then you've got the extra credit on test one and these are the points you get for those. Let's say you got 50% on the credit quiz. That was your highest grade. Then you get half a point. You don't have to get the full 100% to get the point. Just get whatever you get, the highest of those grades. So for test two, you can see that we have some extra credit there as well, seven points worth. And then I've got these complete grades here. This includes the test grades, the extra credit, everything. This is where you go to make sure that you understand exactly what your total grade is because that's the that's what's used in that calculation I mentioned earlier. It's not just the test grade, but whatever else you've done with it. Down here, I've got the grades as of each test. Now you'll need to do to look down here to get your current grade because up the top here, well actually I don't even know if it shows the overall grade. No, it doesn't because I made it so it wouldn't. <laughs> maybe. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway. If you were to see your overall grade, it might look like F all the time. So just go down here. This will tell you your current grade after each test. All right. That's, that's what you should do. You should go there and uh, check, it, check out your grade on a regular basis. Now, also to see what's due, use the course homepage and upcoming events and look at the calendar. Everything's on the calendar. Okay, any other any other questions so far? 
Okay. So we've got the quizzes and I've shown you how to how to access them. And I've shown you the grade section as well. All right, let's look at the actual schedule here. So today we're just doing introduction and syllabus. We won't be doing anything else. And you'll get the most out of class sessions by watching some videos first. And you can see these are the videos that I want you to, to watch. The actual videos themselves, I think these links actually might work if you're in my courses, but if they don't, then they're in mini lectures. And you'll notice they're all linked with a day. So you can clearly see exactly what we're going to be doing each day. Uh, I have a quick question. Yeah. So I had a professor that had a very bad habit of doing this. He would post a really simple um, uh, or go over simple uh, examples and then for tests and whatnot, it'd be very, very difficult ones. Uh, are you doing for your tests and everything? Are you doing uh, something similar to that? You're doing simple ones in the videos and then more advanced ones on the tests or are they going to be similar? No, they're going to be similar. I, I mean, I, I don't know if I, who's, who's asking me the question? I'm sorry. Is it Sierra again? Sierra. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. Uh, there's a lot of people who've had me before and I, I think I, I'm going to take a chance here, but can somebody give a little bit of um, assurance? So I had Musgraves. It's Sierra. Hi. Mm -hmm. um, so I had him for two years and, or two semesters. And like the questions in class are very similar to the test. And then he gives you like example tests and how they're done and like previous old tests to review for the upcoming test. So like those are exactly the same, just different numbers in the questions and stuff like that. So it's really fair. So you know exactly like what to study and what to look at okay. before the test even comes. Yeah, I feel like the, yeah, the extra sure. credit quizzes, I feel like those are a little harder than the tests personally. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fair. This is my sixth semester or seventh or eighth <laughs> that I've been in Musgrave. And by my own fault with life, I've, I've pulled myself back. But I always come back to him and I make sure that he's my professor for chemistry because you only fail if you try honestly. He puts every resource out there. He's always at your dispense. Um, he really, he cares. So that's a difference. So if you don't care, that's when we notice. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So uh, yeah, it's all very transparent. I want to try and make it transparent. If you don't feel it's transparent, I want to know. But chances are it's just because you haven't found a resource that I've posted. So let's take a look at the old tests here. And here they are. So Philip, were you saying you couldn't find them earlier? Um, no, um, like um, back in um, general chemistry one and general chemistry two, you had like all the quizzes that you would get for like um, extra credit in practice. And then you had th the actual practice test. Oh, right? that, yeah, and, yeah, but that was electronic, wasn't it? I mean, I can't do yeah. it for organic, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to do oh, it. Oh, okay, because I was wondering about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it because of the drawing, you know? Yeah, because I'm searching for that whole thing, and then I ended up printing out one of the sample tests, and I'm like, oh my god, wow. Hmm. Yeah, so the idea here is I've got four old tests. These are actual tests, real tests that students have taken, along with their keys right here. And this will tell you exactly exactly what to what kind of questions you're going to expect. The formatting will be exactly the same different numbers, different structures, that kind of thing, but the questions will be identical. In class, we're going to spend actual time doing very similar examples to what you're seeing on the test. That's going to be the main focus. That's why I'd like you to watch the videos beforehand so you have a little bit of knowledge. I'll cover a little bit of background, but most of the time will be spent on test questions or questions very similar to what you're doing on the test. Right? That's, that's how we're going to be spending our, our Zoom time. So um, um, in, in terms of the um, uh, classes and everything, since we're just doing like a little um, introduction for, for this Zoom session, the um, uh, Wednesday class, it will uh, resume like um, everything after that, right? Mm. 
Yeah, that's right. I mean, today I wasn't going to cover any material, new material. Everything will start on Wednesday. And okay, all right. the best way to prepare for Wednesday's class, as I said earlier, is to go to the schedule and watch these videos. Now, mm -hmm. most, most of the videos, they're less than 10 minutes. But this is how you'll get the most out of it. Do you have to watch the videos? No, not really. You don't have to. But I'm saying if you want the most out of the Zoom session, you will. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm just trying to like uh, prioritize which Zoom meeting I can attend because I, yeah. I may not attend all of them. Which is fine. Like, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely fine. You know, the, the only thing you have to attend on test days. That's it, Philip. Uh, okay. Right? Yeah. You have to attend on test days. Otherwise, you know, you're here or you're not here. That's okay. But I will record them. I'll record the, I'll record the sessions. Where will the recordings be? Well, they'll be, whoops, sorry about that. They will be in the Zoom sessions folder under here. I'll link, I'll put dates on them. And there'll be links. I'll put them up on YouTube. Okay, perfect. All right. So if you miss anything, at least you'll be able to go back and take a squiz at the recordings. They sometimes take a, maybe an hour or two to to process or whatever, but you know, they'll be there. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, yeah. What else can we do to prepare for Zoom sessions beforehand? I'm really slow at learning and I really do need extra material. Is there any way we can like get more than videos? For example, like books or I don't well, know, like explanatory books or something to further study. Okay, so what uh, what you can do, you can have any organic chemistry textbook you like as a textbook, it, but it'd be a secondary reference. And my recommendation would be if you need more information than what I've given you about a certain topic, then use the index and just uh, use that book. But the thing is, you can buy any book. I have one here I've recommended. That's the Smith book. But, you know, that's, that's an okay book. But, you know, if you don't get the latest edition, then you can get one real cheap, you know, like 20 bucks. So that's why I'd recommend okay. getting an earlier edition of an, of an old organic, uh, you know, an organic chemistry textbook. Uh, B-R-U-I-C-E, Bruce, that's another good one. Bruce Organic Chemistry. And I did have a, I do have a message here from, from stu a student, but uh, they, they've sent it to me privately. There's this very long river, river in South America, which I'm not going to say the name of, and apparently you can get it for $16 to rent. So there you go. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can ask, ask a friend. Do we get um, extra credit on, 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 our, on our next test if we can uh, guess that student? No, you can't. There's no extra oh. credit there, unfortunately. Uh, like now, as, to... now, somebody, uh, sorry, who was asking me about the, the resources? I'm sorry, who, who, uh, who is? Me, Nora. Nora, okay. Yeah, Nora, I don't know why it's not popping up, but you know, usually the person who's asking a question, it pops up for me, for some reason it ain't. So I am sorry about that. Uh, I, let me show you something else as well that is helpful. In each test folder, uh, let's go back to test one files here. There's this file called problems test one and there's one in each folder, problems test one, problems test two, problems test three. Now, I don't know what the disposition is, but I usually sell this at the bookstore and you can buy it as a hard copy. I don't know if that's the, clay, if that's the case now I mean, I really haven't tried. I have checked, honestly, because I didn't really expect they'd have it due to all this garbage going on. And what I would say is that you can, you, you can print this out. This is another resource for you. And it has a sample test in it. And then it has practice problems as well that are very similar to the problems you'll see on the test. Right, so that's, a, that's something I would definitely recommend looking, at least, at least looking at, if not printing out. You could always look and, at um, the, sorry, Nora? 
you said uh, the key you said the keys the answer keys are also with like they come together with the problem test and everything yes they do yes but you know those that shouldn't be your only mode of study i'm expecting that people will will use those those tests to get competent with the formatting but for the actual material I would use the, the problems that I give you in these test files. Okay. Okay. Which you can print out okay. or you can look at on the screen. It, okay. it, it may, I'll, I'll look into the bookstore and see if they've, they've actually got this and they can send it to you. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. All right. So any okay, other thank you. Yeah, any other questions about uh, about the material here and resources? What things from previous courses would you like us to review to prepare for this? No, nothing really. It's all completely different, you know? It's you know, it's all it's all completely new. I, I can't I can't think of anything that would be useful for you to go over again. Okay. I mean, we're, I'm going to do a little bit of introductory stuff about electronegativity on Wednesday, but then, you know, after about the first 10, 15 minutes, everything's going to be completely foreign to you. But it's okay. That's what the whole point of the course is for. So to get you, to get you familiar with everything. I have a question. Yeah. It's Deanna. Yes, Deanna. Um, so, hi. <laughs> so are you going to go over the PowerPoint notes during our Zoom videos or like, should we like print them out and go like follow along while we're in the Zoom meetings? There's a couple of options there. You, I will be, I will be using those as basic introduction to the material before we get into doing the problems. Okay. I, I will be using those. Okay. But there are printable versions here. Now the printable version is black and white mm -hmm. and, it, and it has two, two slides per page. That's optional. You can print it out or not. I don't mind. Some people like to print it out and take notes as they go. That's okay. okay. Some people don't like to. That's all right too. But don't try and print out the actual PowerPoint notes. Okay. You'll, you'll run out of blue ink very quick. Right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. So uh, I, I will, I'll open the PowerPoint notes just so you can see them. I have a quick question. Okay. Um, okay. It's Teresha. Yes. Um, so I went to the Seminole campus um, last week and they gave me like this notebook stating like your notes or something on it with your name on it. Is that needed or not? That's the, that's actually this, this problems test one. Oh, okay. Do you have it with you? I do. Um, can you, let me see if I can get you on the screen here. Um, okay. Give me one second. Did you actually go to a bookstore and physically buy it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, Deanna, if I can get Deanna on the screen, and I'm looking to see if I can find her here. There you are. Deanna Anthony? Yeah. No? Yes? I, I don't oh, no, know. Show book Wait. Yeah, that me. <laughs> okay. okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm not sure which Deanna we were talking about here. Um, actually, I'm trying to get you on the screen here. All right. Well, anyways, it looks like you can get it from the bookstore. So you, oh, there you go. Thank you. Look at that. Ter Teresha, Teresha is, has, is showing it on her screen right now. You can see it down here. Yay. That is the culmination of all those files. If you want to go buy it. How much was it, Teresha? I'm sorry, what did you say? How much was it? Um, I think like twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty bucks roundabout. They might even send it to you if you go if you go through the books bookstore website, which would be real cool. You wouldn't have to go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, is that the same from last year? If we had bought it from fall of last year? Yeah, it's the same one. Yep. So that's an option. Looks like they do have it at the bookstore. So yay! All right. Okay, let me go back to where I was. Okay, good. Okay, so you saw the PowerPoints. These are the PowerPoint notes, the black and white versions. Yeah, there you are. All right, so you can print that out. Same deal, but you don't, um, you don't have to. That's up to you. That's completely optional. 
And there you've got the mini lectures. Those are the, the videos I was talking about. Then in each of the individual folders, that's where you'll find the quizzes. And sometimes there might be some extra videos and notes if it's stuff we're not going over in class. Understand though that this kind of stuff here is re just review. Actually, somebody had asked me what to review. Well, this would, this would be the stuff you could review, but it would only be to do these quizzes. And that's, and there's not that much of it there. It's like VSEPR, it's stuff you would have done back in general chemistry one. But we'll, we'll be going over it in a lot of detail as it relates to organic chemistry. You wouldn't have seen it very much of it for organic chemistry. All right, any other questions about resources that anybody has? Yes, tutoring. Yeah. Um, if someone needs tutoring, can we, is there a place we can go to get extra tutoring if you're perhaps not available to us? Absolutely. Uh, there's, a, there's a link called tutor.com and SPC actually has tutors on that site who help with this stuff. Uh, the one person I know of is Elizabeth Kittle K-I-T-T-L-E, and she will, uh, you know, she's, she's very good. And yeah, so tutor.com, and they actually have tutors all the time there. So it's all sorted by, by class and, you know, you'll find somebody for organic chemistry. But the first people who come up are the SPC, SPC tutors. I recommend them first before going after anybody else. It's free too, tutor.com, it's free. Right, it's a service to college. You don't have to pay for is it. Is that, can I access that through my courses or is that like a whole different website? Uh, you know what, I, I think they're trying to integrate it into my courses, but they haven't done it yet. But it will be, it will be integrated this semester sometime, but I don't know when. But for now, just use the link. I mean, just, just go to tutor.com. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, but your first, your first port of call should be me. Okay, because I, I know the answers to what I want. And, of course. and the other thing is I've got my I've got my cell phone here. You can call me call me during my, those office hours. If I'm talking to somebody else, leave a message, I'll get back to you. Okay, perfect, thank you. If I, I believe they also are making appointments for the actual like tutoring center. Okay. Um, kind of like meetings, you know, like to help with social distancing and whatnot. But I do believe that they are making appointments. But Elizabeth is great. I've gone to her a couple times as well. They just sent out an email today opening back up the Clearwater Library, the tutoring there, uh, the learning resources. They're all limited times, but they are now open. And you should have got that in your school email. Yeah, that's that's true. Yes, I had actually forgotten that. They, they are opening up the libraries on a limited sorry the uh, learning centers on a limited basis but yes but they do offer a lot of virtual stuff too i mean you'll that's how the best way to get them though i think is through tutor.com it virtually yeah all right any other any other questions course related questions anything else I might have forgotten here. Thank you for asking about the tutoring. That's uh, that was good. But uh, any other questions? <clears throat> all right. I I'm just going to look through and make sure I haven't missed anything for you all. Uh, there's this link here reviewing a graded quiz if you've never used my courses before that's useful because it tells you how to access graded materials that's going to be especially important for tests because i will leave feedback now i know a lot of you are used to me grading these things fairly quickly it takes me a little longer grading it off the screen than it does grading it with a pen so i know a lot of you like to get the, well, you used to getting the grades back pretty quick. 
It'll be a little bit longer, but will be likely the same day as you take the test, you can expect a grade. As, well, as along with feedback, I'll also you know, type out feedback that goes along with that. You'll also be signing your tests as well across your work. And I think I, did I leave an example of that? I don't know. Actually, I don't think I put an example here. But you know, just just sign across your work. I've I've, I've put the instructions in the Dropbox. Just follow those instructions, and you'll be fine. Does anybody have any other questions that they want to ask? Hi there. I have a quick question about um, about the lab. Yeah. Um, so, um, is it? As I read in the email that it probably won't take the entire two hours and forty minutes. Not likely. Oh. But the but there are going to be times when there'll be dry labs. Mm -hmm. and, and those might take the, the full two hour and 40 minutes. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you know anything about like the other campuses or anything like that. Um, so I'm taking a class down in the downtown St. Pete campus. Um, do you know if they allow, if there's areas that students can sit like before their classes where I could do your Zoom classes while on that campus? I think so. I think they have a learning commons in there mm -hmm. and you could, and, and they have computers laying around that you can use. Okay, you know, perfect. Public areas. Yeah. They do, and they also have a lot of quiet areas on the different floors that you're okay. never in if you okay. have your own perfect. computer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, and I'll talk much more about the lab, obviously, on Wednesday if you're in my lab class. If you're in somebody else's, then you know, they'll have their own thing going. Um, <clears throat> speaking of which, since I do have a different lab teacher than you, mm -hmm. uh, will the course materials line up correctly? Hopefully, yeah. it'll be it'll be it'll be fine. Okay, it'll be fine. It, with lab, it's more about the lab experience, uh, but I know it's kind of limited in this environment. We do the best we can with it, but uh, you know, on a just to be very frank here, if I was a student, I I I would jump at the chance of taking a lab class right now. <laughs> because it's it's so much more convenient than actually having to come to to lab and and do the stuff and uh, it's you know it's and the the attendance the attendance requirements are so uh so much more so much easier to deal with so i i don't there are there are pluses to it i'm sure a lot of you have uh, have weighed that up does anybody have any other any other questions they want to ask about the course I have a quick question. This is Sarah. Mm -hmm. um, so how does it work with people with accommodations? Oh, I'll, um, I, I handle those individually. And I, and I will, I'll fix, uh, fix timings on, on quizzes and stuff for those specific people by the end of the first week. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, but I, I will I will notify anybody who's got accommodations. I'll I'll notify you. I've I've received I've received paperwork. I know I know who you are. All right. Anybody else got any questions about the course? Anything else? Well, if you do come up with any questions, feel free to email me, and I will uh, I'll send you an answer pretty quick. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you all on Wednesday. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, is there anybody who wants to hang around for the? Uh, I don't know, Julie. You might want to hang around. But if anybody else wants to hang around, they can. I'm not going anywhere yet. <laughs> so, Julie. Yes. Did you get it sorted or not? Um, somewhat sorted. Still some issues, but dealing. Did you get it uploaded into the Dropbox? Oh, on the on the piece of thing. Um, yes, it should be there. I got a receipt. Good. Then you did it. <laughs> I thought you could tell. Uh, well, I haven't looked yet. Okay. No, I think I, I think it was okay. I have a brand new computer, so I'm a little bit nervous about it. 
but I think uh, it's going to be okay. Believe me, if it's not right, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited about taking your classes again. All right. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. All right. Did anybody else have anything to talk to me about? Keisha, Courtney, you are right? <laughs> Brittany? I don't know who else is here. Let me see. I don't know. I'm just worried about printing out the test. Like uh, well, I told you, if, if all else fails, you can do it off the screen, right? But if we do it off the screen, do we have to, like, I know some of the test questions have, like, diagrams. Do we have to draw those out on our handwritten test? or how? No, that? no, because I know the questions. You just have to number them, put the answers okay. down. It's just a little bit annoying for me is all. Right. I really, 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 really rather you print it out. I'll I'll ask Santa and see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, you go. Yeah. All right. Who else have we got here? Victoria, how are you doing? All right, she's all right. Glad to be back. All right, Nora, you you're okay. Brittany. Yeah. All right, Francisco. Yep, I'm good. He's already gone. Looking. Right here. Oh. <laughs> So look okay. at, the, at the test schedule. Yes. Do you normally um, give the test on um, on Mondays? I work I work weekend nights. That's why I look uh, so disheveled today. Um, I'm on like an hour and a half of sleep. So um, I was wondering if you gave the test late. You're testing later in the week or or on Monday, so I could prepare accordingly. And get well, it. let's let's take it. Let's take a squiz. Looks like the first test is on a Wednesday. The second test is on a Wednesday. The third test is on a Wednesday. And the fourth test is on a Monday. Okay. All right. So Francisco, this would be my advice to you. On that weekend of the fourth test, don't work. Okay. Yeah. Right? I see. Take, 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 take the day off on Sunday, right? That way you'll be, you'll be ready, you'll be prepared. I right. think the final might be on the following Monday as well, but I'm, I'm sure you're, you're going to count on getting A's on, on everything. So you don't have to take the final. Right. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yippee. Can I ask a question? Yes. Uh, so if the test is on Wednesday, uh, I think I follow the schedule and if I understood it correctly, we have review day. So review is on Monday yes. and the Wednesday before, or it's just on Monday. Cause I feel like the schedule said, it know. might be. It might be. I might have. I'm sometimes. Sometimes I leave two days for review, Victoria. Okay. Okay. It, it could happen. It could happen. It gives me a little bit of lead time as well. But okay. you, you should never be afraid that I'm going to be teaching right up until the test. Mm -hmm. I try not to do that. That's that's nasty. Yes. Yeah. And <laughs> the another question is uh, uh, the extra credits and all the homeworks and everything is just like before it's due the the night of the test i guess the morning oh you know that's something i didn't say it's 11 59 p.m of the night before the test that's when they're oh. all due yeah that's on the calendar i had meant to say that that's okay thank you thank yeah. you uh musgrave i have a question yeah, yeah. The test. Mm -hmm. so to prepare for the test i know last semester we used the practice test that we had online mm -hmm. Orgo, like, do you recommend studying the old test or that practice test or both? That you well, no, it, I would, the, I think the tests, you know, the old tests are kind of like a last, the last thing you should look at. Okay. As far as review goes, do the problems in the blue book first, you know, the, the, those files I was pointing at, which I will also be pointing out again what, when we're doing the classes too, to make sure people understand that that's, that's what I want you to look at. Okay. All right. Practice those. And then at some point you can, uh, you can look at the old test. Um, will the test be like exactly like how the past semesters have been like well, formatting? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if you were changing it since we're online now or what you were doing. So. No, no, same deal. I don't, I don't want it to be any different. I, mm -hmm. I don't, I really don't. <laughs> With Dr. Musgrave, he sets you up for success. Everything you need to know will be on the test without any uh, surprises. I think that's the best part of the course. You don't have to worry about surprises. 
Yeah, well, Courtney's had me before, but she she's a little bit leery because there was one one test where she thought that I did surprise her. I still oh. I still I still think it. I, I don't think it was a surprise, but we, you know that's something we we joke about, right, Courtney? Yeah, I was gonna. I don't even know. That's not so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all cried that day. I cried too. It was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But anyway, it's um, it should be, it should be fine. Okay. Musgrave, I decided to take three labs this semester. Like but, you, one may not. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, but 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 I hey, hang on. I, I wouldn't. The three labs. That's face to face online. I think it's doable. Yeah, it's like different because I have one that's like all online and then I have yours, which is live online and then the other one's in class. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you can so you're doing one in class one. Yeah. Like you, yeah. Are, you, you are brave. Perfect. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not good. All right. all right. Nora, Brianna, Deanna, how are you guys, guys doing? You all right? I'm good. All right. Does anybody else have any questions that they want to ask? Anything else? All right, well, we'll leave it there then, hey? And I'll, I'll catch up with you all on Wednesday. Thanks for coming. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.